A ferrite bead can be loosely referred to as a lossy inductor. By putting one in series with high frequency noise, it will filter it by dissipating it as heat. A ZRX chart is one of the most important things within every ferrite bead data sheet. It shows the impedance of the bead versus frequency. Z is the total impedance, R resistance, and X reactance. There are three main zones within the chart, the inductive, resistive, and capacitive zones. The goal is to have the noise you are filtering be completely in the resistive range. What are the main gotchas to look out for? The amount of DC current going through the ferrite greatly reduces the impedance of the bead, sometimes upwards of 70 to 90 percent, so you should never exceed 20 to 30 percent of the rated current. In the capacitive region, they don't offer any filtering at all. Worse still, in the inductive region, due to ceramic decoupling capacitors, ferrites can result in a large resonance peak amplifying the noise. This can be fixed by adding a high ESR capacitor in parallel with the ceramics. 